certification and training of applicators using restricted use pesticides. I think most of us on this show know what that is. States were given time to adopt and incorporate these new rules into law and regulation, but due to complexity of the plans and the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, the agency is seeking to extend the deadline to comply with the new rules to late 2024. Depending on the state involved, coming into compliance with the new rules may be as simple as modifying existing regulation, but in other instances... The lead agency responsible for pesticide regulation may have to approach the state legislature to make necessary changes to law, which is time-consuming in the best of circumstances. With the pandemic now entering its third year, God, whoever thought we were going to say that, legislatures are still trying to catch up after many state capitol buildings were closed and meetings were virtual. At the regulatory level, the pandemic forced state lead agency employees to work remotely as well, further slowing progress. The EPA states that currently 55 state, territory, and tribe final rules have been completed out of 68 total. And you can check that out also at NALP.org. What's happening around the states? Well, in Connecticut, there's a new bill introduced seeking to ban and restrict pesticide products. Come on, Connecticut, what is up with that? Earlier this week, a new bill was filed in Connecticut Senate that seeks to ban the use of insecticide chlorpyrifos on golf courses and would limit non-ag use of neonic insecticides to certified applicators only. Well, that works out well for us, right? It's better in our hands than the average consumer anyway. The bill is anticipated to be heard in committee next week. If there's something going on in your corner of the world, raise your hand. I'd love to talk to you about it. That would be fun here. But that's all we've got for news that you can use right now. We're going to hear from our sponsors, and we're going to come back and talk about why we need to be porch ready for customers this spring. <laughs> 